Hey guys, this is TechGuy276. Um, I'm coming at you with something a little bit different today. Um, basically, I've been, I've got this laptop, but it's not a very high-powered laptop, and it's basically Windows 10. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good laptop. So it's the HP Stream, and I can't play many games. And I've got Fallout 1 and 2 here, uh, but I've also got Excel as well. And I've been working on a few things with uh, spreadsheets uh, recently and trying to increase my. Um, trying to increase my knowledge and trying to increase my performance on it by doing little things and learning through things through google and basically right i'll show you what i've been doing today um when it loads up right so basically i've made a sudoku table and i'll show you the formulas in just a few minutes but basically i've made a drop down box with every number possible so the number three is in that box i can't click on it because i've protected the worksheet um so it comes up so one two three one two four five six seven eight so that's some sort of like um an if look up but it's a it's also a row look up so it cancels out if it, if the number appears in the box then it cancels it out so basically that's what it's done so <coughs> i've also done this for the for the six by six and i've also done it for three by three that is the kind of formula i've used uh, but if we go into that, obviously you can see if rows f6 to f6, so it's basically referring to that uh, f6 to f6. So and, and as you go down, it's obviously referring to 2, 3, 4, and then you've got to index it, which counts it here. So you've got to d14, which is that one there. So it knows that there's 9 left. So there's no that there's a count number there. But you've got then you've got to minus it. I count e6 which is e6 there to e14 so if I run over here and go in a drop down box so put the number one in it'll change that so it'll get rid of the number one out of there and then it'll change that to eight so I can have those numbers there so basically I'll run I'll run I'll run through the game with you because I haven't actually played this game yet um obviously I have because it's a duco but and even even that one that it works on so one two three four so that I know that there's that's going to be left so and I know that six is going to be in there because six and six and six is there so basically when I go so basically I'll put a part put put a five there because it can't go anywhere else so then I'll do two two and two so two can't go in there two can go in there and then two has to go in there because two two and two and then one so one has to go in there and then the other one which tells me it's free so automatically completing it so one two three four five six it's recognized that it's got six numbers in it and it's recognized that it adds up to 21 so what i've done here um what i've done here ah i can't do it but i'll one two so you don't you don't read but then this is consistent all the way throughout so one two put a three in there because that's the only one left and one two three four four so four's there and this is consistent throughout the table and you'll notice this when you when you play the game so i'll unlock let me just let me just un unprotect the worksheet i've locked it as well so you can't actually click the cells like obviously i can now but uh, when it's been locked I can unhide it so this is the kind of the formula I've used and I've used it for all of those there so here yeah, I've got sum and then here I've got a count so equals sum so equals b2 to g2 is um, well I've not got all the formulas in, but let's do it this way so f2 to f7 equals 21 and then down here it's f2 to f7 and then I've done a conditional formatting through this which if I go on here so the one what am I looking for f2 to f7 there you go if f8 equals 21 and then it basically turns all of these items green so I know I've completed it and I know that it's right so if I change my answer to 3 then it doesn't actually equal that much it actually equals 20 so it shows that it's wrong but that portion of it is right so if I change that to 4 again it'll be right but it's because I can basically put 3 in there and it goes to there and uh, I've increased this by I've, I've, been, I've been using references like b2 to b, b2 
to D3 and I've been basically doing this so this is, this is a 6x6 grid so if I go here these are the numbers so if rows J10 referring to that and then it refers to K10 which is that one there so you've got to it's got to be less than that so it's got to be there so three has got to be in there then you've got to index it then you've got to make it small I'm not sure what the small thing is I picked it up on the internet and then if h10 so where's h10 is h10 in h15 is equal is is less than or greater than i 15 so it's there and then you've got to row it so you've got to initial you've got to refer this cell back to that cell and then I tend to that again, which basically tells the other cells here over here that you are referencing this, but you are referencing it back. And then you've got to plus one, so plus one, so there. And then J10 to J, J10, but that, that's only if when you go, go down again, again, and again, like as you can see, the, the formula actually changes. So I've absolute cell referenced this one. But I haven't actually cell referenced that one because I want it to drag down. So it always refers to that cell. And then I've basically done this throughout. These ones are just values. These ones are just basically just the same values. Uh, but it's took me quite a long time. And to get it just right, it's, it's going pretty good at the moment. So basically this is, at the moment, you can only select these four cells. And it's the same on this if you get all of them right. So one, two, three, four, well, anywhere basically. So I've got four spaces left. That means I should have four numbers left. So one, two, three, four can't go in there. So four has to go in there. And then one, two, three. What I'd like to do next, and I'm not sure how you do it, I'd probably have to reference it somewhere else. So I'd probably have to type in H8. Uh, oh wait, sum h8 uh, and then colon uh, j10 put that there and that would equal 20 set yeah it would equal 45 because I'd have to have the other three numbers going in there so 7 and then 45 so if I basically did uh, let's unprotect the worksheet So if I did this, then go into conditional formatting, new rules, basically copy this cell, because I can't go over typing it again, new rule, add a formula, and then change that to, let's have a C, AK, AK, absolute cell, I'll reference it, 5 equals 45. Mm. And then apply that and it should apply that so that's basically what I want to do for the entire table so if if the each of these boxes equal 45 then you can then correctly so you've completed that entire box and if I say I can't change my answer to anything else so everything has got to be right so if I change that to 7 obviously it's going to be wrong but it changes it back because I'm not allowed to do it so you've basically got if I just type in if I just go in there and you type in 8, it comes up. So basically, that's what I want to do uh, for the next thing. And then I'll be working up to a 18 by 18 grid, which I know is going to be a ball like to do. But um, I'm really liking my spreadsheets at the moment. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, I'll show you my other spreadsheet. Bye.